Well, when you own one of these pigs, they'll run real good, you know. But you might have a problem, you might not know it, you know. Check engine light, it's on all the time. So, and you might pull your codes and might not come up with nothing, so. What you wanna do is you wanna get you one of these. Uh, they're about 30 bucks. And then, I usually pair it to my phone. But for this, I usually don't use it on my radio. But for this video, I did put it on the radio. So, and the best way to see if your truck is good to pull a heavy trailer, you know, the health of the truck, is to power break it. And I usually try to go for 15, maybe 20 psi. Usually closer to 15, because that usually eliminates most stuff. You know, if you can get 10, 11, and it'll keep going. You know, that's good enough. So, I'll roll down the window here. Let's turn this off. I'll roll down the window here. Extremely windy. All right. And then also, you might put the mirror, the mirror down so you can see if any black smoke is coming out. And, uh, that should be close enough. That's all she wants to go for some reason. We'll go back up. Good, I didn't break it. So, let's put it in drive. Yep, trailer's disconnected. Don't worry about that. And I'm going to put one foot on the pedal and then one foot on this pedal. And we're going to build some boost here. If we can build the boost, that means your compression is good, your turbo is good, and your injectors are good. If you can't build a boost, it's one of those three. And it could be the charger, cooler, it could be some sensors, but if you can build the boost, you're good to go. So, and also, your injection pressure is seven times your H-pop pressure. So those fancy trucks with 30,000 injection pressure, Ford was doing this back in 05. All right, you gotta press pretty hard. I just cut them loose there. So I did get about 15 PSI. Let's try it again. I'm gonna back up a little bit because I was I was heading a little too close. Now I can smell burnt rubber. So let's try her again here. See if I can get back to 15. Busting them loose, but I did. I think I got the 17. So this truck is good to go. There's my leaks from when I did my radiator, and there's one. There's two spots on the tires. So. so I like to do this periodically, along with some other checks, and I'll be doing some uh, videos on those other checks, and uh, so we can really tell the health of your truck. And you really just have to have one of these things. These things are excellent, excellent, customizable. You can get it up on your dash with your Android radio. So uh, we'll give you get some more vehicle, more videos on owning a, a diesel pickup, a 6.0 in particular. But a lot of this applies to a lot of diesel trucks. Um, they can get very expensive if you don't keep up on them. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.